All right, baked Christmas ham. I've got 3.32 kilograms of gammon ham and it was really, really excellent price. Got that from Aldi again and it's a massive piece of ham. Um, although we call this baked ham, it starts its, it starts its uh, cooking process by being uh, boiled. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this unpacked, get it into my pot, top it up with water and boil that uh, for about an hour and a half. Okay, so I've got that topped up and it's coming up to a boil. So I've turned it down to a simmer, uh, a fairly fast simmer just for the time being. I'm putting in a teaspoonful of juniper berries, a little sprig, say three or four bay leaves, they're from my garden. And there's a, a sprig of rosemary and a stick of cassia or cinnamon that's going in there. In addition to that I just want a couple of cloves, about three or four cloves can go in and you'll need some cloves for sticking the ham at the end. So I'm now going to cover that and low some of that for a good hour and a half. Okay for a glaze I've got a couple of tablespoons of uh, honey and I'm going to put in that a couple of large blobs of um, English mustard. You can use Dijon mustard for this. And uh, honey is, is of course a sweet glaze, but actually mustard itself also turns rather sweet when subjected to heat. So I'll just mix all that together and that will become a nice glaze for the ham. And in addition to that, I'm going to stick it with some cloves, but you'll, you'll have seen that in the, um, in the finished picture at the uh, title page. All right, we've, uh, I checked it till the internal temperature was above 70 degrees uh, Celsius, and I've taken it out, I've removed the uh, netting on the outside, and I'm now running a knife just under the, the skin to lift off the mantle of skin. So I'm going to do that carefully because I want to preserve the integrity of the fat cap underneath that skin. So I'm doing that with a large chef's knife and just cutting it away as neatly as I can. Something like that. So that's the hard part. It's all plain sailing from here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do round about from corner to corner I want to do a single cut and I want to cut through the fat down to the lean but no further. And likewise another cut in the opposite direction. That forms what I call a crown and then I just take it in sort of one inch, three quarter inch to one inch, two centimeter slices away from that center, like that. And you end up with that nice crown like that. Likewise that side, that side and one more this side and then just go the opposite way. That way. And then that way. So you've got that kind of hedgehog appearance on the top. All right. Uh, the next thing I want to do is grab handfuls of cloves. And I want to stick one clove into the centre of each of those crown, crowning caps, like that. So you stick it in with the berry side up, like that. I just carry on now till that's all done.
they push really easy into the fat and you end up with that rather nice looking crown on your ham it gives it a really festive appearance and also it gives it that a subtle hint of the flavour of the cloves as well which is pretty amazing now as I'm doing this my fingers are getting sticky as I touch the ham cap so you may periodically have to rinse your fingers off with cold water it takes a bit of time but it's well worth the effort Okay, so that's that studded with cloves. So the next thing I do is I get my honey and mustard glaze and dab it on the surface. And you can be quite generous with this because that's gonna give a lovely flavor and finish to your ham. And that goes not just on the cloves and the fat cap, but all around your ham. Right, the last stage in this process is to get that into a roasting tin and get it into the oven at about 180 degrees and we'll put it in for uh, about uh, 25 minutes we'll check it after 25 minutes and see if it needs to go longer so I've transferred it to this rack uh, which is sitting in my uh, roasting tin and I've just put a little water in the bottom now that's going to go in the oven like I said for about 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius 350 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, I'll check it at that time see if it needs any longer so there we have it you'll see it's nicely caramelized around the cloves and it's given a nice definition to the surface sort of hedgehog definition to the ham if you want to see us tuck into the ham make sure you watch my Christmas Day video because we'll be going to see our friends the sparrows and uh, we'll, it'll feature in that video. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.